Now, you're not going to believe how I found this mess. Um, I was down at the local hardware store doing some shopping and I bumped into an old buddy and we got talking and I told him what I was doing, how I was doing YouTube and asked him if he knew anyone that had an overgrown disaster. He said, actually I do, my mother's place is in some dire need of some work. As you can see, this laneway is very narrow and because of the bushes and everything else growing in here, the house is suffering from lack of light and it's also starting to get a little bit of damp inside because it's not getting enough light and heat through the windows. So the plan was pretty simple. He said, get rid of the lot. Let's get rid of everything, cut everything down, clear it all out and let's just start again and make it a nice light filled area. Now I know a lot of you aren't going to like me cutting down the trees and bushes uh, at this property but it's basically what it needs. It's well overgrown and has been neglected for quite a few years. In the end I took a massive amount of material out of this property uh, and I ended up going to the landfill around five times with well over a tonne of green waste. Talking about green waste, I was speaking to the lady up at the landfill the other day and she had a look on her computer and apparently I've removed over 13 tonnes of green waste since January this year. Can you believe that? For a man on his own with a trailer, I think that's a pretty good job. By the way, if you're new here, my name's George and I clean up overgrown gardens for a living. Alright folks, that's about all for me today. I'm going to get a little bit done. I can't stand around here talking all day. I hope you enjoy the episode and I shall see you all on the next one. Uh-uh. <laughs>